Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and in today's video I'm just doing another unboxing but there's a lot of good stuff in today so I thought it was worthy of a video. I was meant to upload a video yesterday, um, I'll probably upload that this evening. It's still perfectly valid, it's something to do with how to make money trading. So let's have a look at what I got in today. I think it is in my, my desk is just super, there's, there's clutter everywhere. I say clutter like there, there is silver on the desk. I don't usually have this much around. I thought more would sell last night, but that's okay. So yeah, I got five of these bad boys in. I bought these. Um, I paid a good price. Oh, I felt it was a good price. These are always a good seller. So five of them. That one's just come out of its, its cap. The capsule does help with the resale. Um, they initially come in plastic. I bought two of these. 2018, 2019 Valiant coins. Um, I don't really know much about these, so I think they do well. I don't particularly know. So, who knows? From the same gentleman, I bought a roll of these. So, half ounce, can't really see that. I'll have to move these out of the way. Half ounce roosters. And I bought another roll of the koalas. The koalas were a really, really good value play. Um, some stuff I'm paying more than others, and that's okay. You know, I just aim to make a spread. I don't, I don't aim to rinse every single penny out of it. It's okay. I did a trade for a couple of pandas. Got these in. The pandas were the rarer years, by the way. They weren't just normal pandas. No PM round and an, another owl. So I need to book these. The bars, actually, I'll, I'll quickly show you. These are nice. Really like the bars. I think they're coin bars. Yeah, one dollar. Stick them there. You can tell I've got a lot in because I'm, I'm trying to make space on my desk. I've got these in. So these are one gram platinum. So I was going to do a pre-order on these. There was another gentleman who popped up and then out of the blue I was just offered 25. So I was going to order something anyway and I was like, wow, kind of makes sense. So I end up buying these in. Uh, I'll probably sell maybe five or 10. And be done with it and I'll put the other 15 away for Christmas. I think they'll sell at Christmas. I think they're a nice little gift. So I'm trying to stockpile things for Christmas where there's profit loaded and then that way, like I've always worried about where it's gonna come from and then this year I'm like, well actually I've got it, you know, it's not a problem. So when you're making good money, you you can afford the option of doing that. So that's if the wheels don't fall off in the, the few months run up to Christmas. I bought some, believe it or not, I've got two of these coming from two different sellers. So one came from another dealer. I think he completely mispriced. Usually he's really expensive on everything, but he sells. So he does have to charge that as well, whereas I, I don't. But I, I thought he was really underpriced on these. I snapped it up. I was surprised no one else jumped on it. Um, I was getting 410, 420 for these, and I think I picked them up for 370, 375 ish each. So, and another guy messaged me, he said, Oh, you bought one. Do you want my one? He, he actually messaged me prior, and I completely forgot about it. He was just like, I'm looking to sell it. Do you know anyone who would buy? And I've been so busy. I was like, Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll speak to a couple of people, and then I just, it just didn't happen. So, I, I do apologize about that. So yeah, these are these are nice coins. I, I've got time for these. I've actually got some more American stuff on route that you will get shown. I've got some sovereigns in. So this here is a replacement sov. So this one's really nice. So what happened was, you would have seen from a few videos back, I was working with a new supplier and he sent me a coin that it looked like a washer. It was awful. And I just missed it. I was like, what, what's going on? He's like, did I send that to you? I was like, yeah. And he's just like, yeah, send it back. <laughs> he didn't even ask any questions, so I'm really sorry I sent you that. Um, he's got a business partner, so I think there was a miscommunication. He sent me some sovs. Sovs are already sold. I've got more sovs on route potentially today. So these are nice sovs. They're not even. They're not even bad sovs, you know. I probably sold these a bit cheap. Had I known they were this good, I only bought and sold. These come in, so that's a proof, 2006. Not done yet, 
still got some more stuff. I made another trade. So I've been trading a lot and the gentleman sent me, so he sent me an OSB bar. I had 40 of these in the past and yeah, they sucked, they were awful. I don't think it was the bar, I think it, it just was ahead of its time slightly. I got a, a Brit encapsulated. I don't know why it's encapsulated, it's, it's not in great condition. I got an Eagle, I've already got a home for that. I've got a Gilded Eagle, that will do well in auction. I've got a Guernsey Doubles. Never had one of these, piece of eight, eight doubles. Uh, and also, he sent me this to sweeten the deal, so I put a trade out, I put a call out, sorry, and I just said, look, does anyone want to trade half sovereigns for eight and a half ounces? And he got back to me, he's like, well, actually, yeah. Um, I don't have eight and a half ounces, I've got five ounces plus a hundred gram bar, and I was like, that's kind of short. Um, and he's like, oh, chuck in this. And I thought, yeah, go on then. You know, it's, to me, that's a fair trade. You know, it's it's okay. So I need to now book these. There was lots and lots of stuff to go through. I need to sell a lot. You know, I've been, I'm getting, I'm getting offered stock um, every day. It's it's tough. It's it's trying to find the cash flow. But the good thing is, because I'm working hard every day, I'm building those excess cash flows. So I'm able to buy more, and it's kind of feeding the machine. So it's not always going to be that way. You know, I I pay out £1,500 a month just to break even. Um, that's all in cost, so what I owe, what I spend, rent, etc. So anything over that goes back into either more debt repayment or buying more stock. Like the last two months have been pretty bumper, so I've, I'm going to pay down rent for six months and not worry about that. That comes out of my cash flow. So yeah, all in all, it's pretty good. If, if you do like my content please support me you know it's i'm trying to work hard i know i've i've put a lot of content out that is um coins coming in that won't always be the case when it slows down a bit i've got some big projects on the go that i want to share with you guys you know tell me what coins you like you know it, you guys are coin nuts like me well most of you are anyway so if you do like them then please like comment and subscribe